and good evening everybody welcome to Suarez headquarters here in a rather cold stroud in the uk we are live 100 percent live and can't wait to get going on something rather special this evening thank you so much for joining us we really appreciate it lots of things to talk through lots of things to look at it's gonna be epic so we can't wait to get started but right now we're gonna run some titles roll vt Oh, I didn't think you'd get a bit of Gene Kelly singing in the rain, did you? Of course you didn't. We're full of surprises here. Right, okay, folks, what can I... <laughs> love it, love it, love it. Right, everybody, can I just have your attention? Quiet in the room, please. Did you know... I would have a drum roll, but we don't have a drum roll sound effect. This is broadcast number 99 <gasps> <What>? <laughs> number 99 broadcast oh I, I can't even begin to imagine that I, I i just how did we get to 99 instagram how did we get to 99 i don't know nice next week folks as the simple arithmetic has probably told you it's live stream number 100 next week. Yes, that's right. We are 100 old, officially. <laughs> it's it's going to be pretty amazing. We've been talking about it already, uh, Aidy and myself, about what we're going to do next week. But I absolutely guarantee you, you do not want to miss this for anything. So I'm giving you a week's notice. Make sure you're here. Everybody on Instagram, make sure you're here for live stream 100 coming live from Suarez HQ. It's going to be a party, a festival. We're going to do some amazing things. Please tell all your friends. We'll put links out during the week so you can share it. Let's get as let's get the most amount of people watching live as we've ever done. And let's have a party, a party of paint to celebrate. All right. How does that sound, everybody? We got your support on that? Fantastic. Okay. So let's think about that. What's that, 99? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Uh, that's every Wednesday, every week, 99. That's nearly two years. That's two years we've been doing these live streams. Two years on a Wednesday night. That's pretty good. In actual fact, I think that is going to be... Find it. Hey, that's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> So how about that, everybody? Isn't that, that's a, it's going to be a real milestone next week, and we're absolutely going to do this next week. We're going to smash it. It's going to be amazing. We've got loads of cool things to do this evening, so let's get on with it, shall we? We know absolutely that we've got corner cam that's working, dude. Let's go on the overhead. Overhead. All my knees are giving way behind me. PTZ on the slidey on the slider. <laughs> There we go. Pinterest's working. Oh, and while I'm here, Rome Cam. What's up, Rome Cam? That's working. And Instagram. Hello. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. Brilliant. Right. So the first thing I'm going to do, everybody, before we do some shout outs, I'm going to show you my material choices tonight because this is a rather special one. It's Gold and Silver Week Part 2. So let me see if I can run you through what's going on on Rome Cam. Right. <clears throat> I've got a multitude of things going on. I've done all the preps. Are we ready to start painting? Number one, we've got some silver. Then we've got black. Then we've got white. Then we've got the Queen's gold. We have got a brand new copper. We've got crown gold, which has got a slight... Well, I'm not going to show you, but it's got a beautiful hint in it. We've got another metallic silver. And then look, courtesy of our German retailers across the road, we've got a beautiful chrome, a beautiful shiny mirror finish copper. We've got some more silver. And then look, we've got 
powders of different sizes. Oh, wow, look at those sparkle, incredible. Plus, we've got one, two, three, four, five uh, pigment powders. Look at those, aren't they delicious? Look at the gold. This one is this incredible pearl white. So, oh my goodness, can you just imagine what we're going to do in the next hour? What are you going to do, Ed? Well, I'm going to show you because we're going to get started, everybody. That's the palette of colors. It's going to be amazing. Don't anybody go anywhere, especially Instagram, of course, because we're coming live and uninterrupted. And that's the canvas we're working on. What size is it, I hear you ask? 270 centimeters by, mm, I think, 150. So it'll have a finished size of 250 by 830. Fantastic. That's what we're working on. You can tell it's time. He's reaching for his gloves. Yes, here we go. The first set of gloves is going on. Now then, we were, we were live on Instagram a few minutes before YouTube. So let's do some hellos while I put my gloves on and scratch my nose. I'm sure you didn't need to know that, but now you do. All uh, right, uh, hello, Rune 8, Angela Mora, Angela Moraes, and uh, Laura, and Jellio, and Erica. This is lovely, Ellie J. Is that LJ? Uh, Creative Management Limited joined Liz Beltran, Gil, I can't even pronounce that, Gilio Arch, 10, Mad for Paint, Tom, Esme, Hugan, Jenna. Oh, we've done some other shout outs already. Fantastic, guys. Thank you for joining us. Stay right where you are. Gloves are going on. We're about to get the first paint on the giant canvas. I kid you not. Everything I say is true. This is going to turn out epic. And Aid is going to pop the extractor on while I do some shout outs. All right. Big Rainbow Wizard was first through the door. Hello, Big Rainbow Wizard. And Funny Fox. Oh, hello. Yeah, go on. Three, three, two, one. Extractor is on. Lift off. Hello, Funny Fox. Lovely to see you here. Uh, Zane. G'day, Zane. And Annette. Hello, Annette. Uh, Annette, sorry. Annette. <laughs> Good evening, Annette. Um, and we've got Albert and Nelson and Carl. Hello, Carl. Nice to see you. Nancy says hello, as well as Cameron and Kali Karashoka. The Rita is in New York. And Nancy Stone has missed us. Hello, Nancy. It's lovely to see you here. And Denise Weeks says, happy Suarez Wednesday. Who else have we got here? Uh, oh, Dewey Stridham from Johannesburg. Thank you for your email. Hope we were, hope we were able to help you out. Um, what else have we got? Natalie, shout out to Debbie, please. Well, there you go. Hello, shout out. Debbie. Hello, Debbie. Wherever you are, let us know where you are, Debbie. Thank you for watching. Um, okay, what else have we got? So, uh, Paul Miles, happy flake broadcast. Very topical. Um, right, so what have I got? Henry the Artist has also joined us. Brilliant, Charles Hussey. Thank you, Charles. That's very kind of you. Great to see you on the chat. Uh, what else have we got? Um, we've got, let's just go down. The read to the same. Have I caught up with everybody? Yes, I have. Fantastic. Okay. Right, folks, we're ready to start and get some paint on the canvas. Let's move you over just a little bit. Mrs. Color of the World, Anki Bop. Thank you guys for joining us. Right. Okay. Right. While I get the first bit of paint onto the canvas, I'm going to ask everybody a very, very important question. And it concerns next week. Oh, who's that? Who's having trouble? Oh, okay. aid has got a few. No. Oh, okay. Just on Insta. Right. Let me have a look on Instagram. Make sure everything's all right. Yeah. Okay. Um, we're looking okay. Sorry. Just thought we might have had a technical problem on Instagram there. Oh, Charles. Charles is in Kingston in Jamaica. <laughs> awesome, Charles. Thank you for telling us that. That's great. Uh, what's the weather like? Let's let's get a global weather forecast going on, shall we? Right. Okay, right. So, so Aid is going to zoom in now um, on that camera. Over, hello, on that camera over there. So, here we go. We're going to get the first set of colours on. Now, two things I want to talk to you about, everybody. First thing is just to say that this is a painting with a particular sequence of colours that I've never done before. So, I've never done this combination before ever so this is going to be quite an interesting thing to do 
Okay, I'm just lining my colours up Instagram. You're not missing a thing because I want you to be down here on the action. Uh, Lam Lumga, good evening. Hello, and Stefan, hello. Right, so we're going to get some paint on. I've got four colours here. I want one more colour before I start. Uh, which, if I can locate it... No, no, actually, I'm going to start with those four. That's pretty good. Right, okay, here we go. Yeah, the other thing I was going to say, uh, folks, is... Um, uh, we're still on PTZ, are we, buddy? Yeah. Uh, if you've got any suggestions for next week's 100th live stream, by all means, let us know. All right, well, let's tell, tell, tell us what you want to do. Uh, and we'll, we'll see. Oh, so who was that, buddy, from Los Angeles? Viviana. Hello, Viviana Sveidler from Los Angeles. Hello, you're a new, you're a new face. I say face, name. Uh, great to have you here. So thank you very much for uh, for joining us. Uh, do you know, Viviana, that AD used to live in Burbank and Pasadena? Mm. How about that? He definitely knows his uh, knows his geography. That man, he's been all over the place. Right. Okay. So let me tell you what I'm doing. So early doors, the selection of colours. I just put onto the bench. I am now getting some paint onto the canvas. This is our gold selection. Okay, gold and coppers. Lovely. This is called antique gold, this one. So it just adds a little bit of quietness to the razzmatazz, which is really nice. Really like that. Okay, fantastic. So that is three on. So we're going to pop in some of our silver now. And this is a really, really nice strong metallic silver so we'll get some of those on next and then we're going to start mixing them around a little bit uh so kelly oh we're well, very good here yeah. swap places with with me and let ad paint for episode 100 well there's a controversial thought <laughs> well you're all going to vote for that now aren't you you're going to get rid of the bald guy and uh, put AD in charge. Oh, if that's what you want to do. Yeah, this is controversial though, isn't it? Ooh, I wonder who's really seriously thinking about that now. <laughs> awesome. Uh, right, okay. So we've already got some uh, some of our gold and silver on. Now, one of the things that I don't normally do, as I've probably been alluding to already, he said as he reaches for his... His beloved window squeegee. Check that out. Awesome. Is I don't normally do these colours as a base. You probably know that by now. But on this occasion, this is exactly what I'm going to do. So we'll see what happens. I'm going to create some really nice, kind of uh, easy on the eye shapes. So we're going to just gently start moving this around. And already, I think we're going to get some amazing effects here, folks. I really, really do. When you use this amount of metallics in one place, cool things happen. So we're just going to introduce our early shapes. And then we're going to start mixing from there. Now, let me say, if you are new here and there's some new faces coming through tonight, a very good evening to you, by the way. Please do ask questions. We're a very, very open community here. We're all one big happy family. And we've all got a love and a joy and an interest in things art related. Yeah, we love the entertainment. We love having a chat. Uh, it's a very safe place to be. And child-friendly if you're watching with youngsters. So please, everybody, no swearing. And uh, if you've got questions, technical, personal, otherwise, we will promise to do our best to answer them for you. And I've got uh, my greatest friend outside in control, uh, filtering through the comments, and he can patch them through to me by talking in my ears because we've got a closed loop to each other so if you work if you're wondering how that tech works it's pretty it's pretty cool i got an earpiece in my right ear underneath my ear defender where ad can talk to me directly and then of course i can hear his feed while i'm talking to you okay super job right okay so over on remote cam uh, instagram we're going to move you guys around in just a moment or two um now then there's a little drop i want to bring so what i'm going to do here let me talk you through what i'm going to do here so 
Now that I've done that early kind of manoeuvring around, next thing I'm going to do is be a little bit cuter on how I fill up all the gaps. So I tell you what, friends of Instagram, oh boy, McCrusty, uh, hello, uh, J underscore New Art, Cheshire Paint, and Rochelle, hello Rochelle, and uh, Srikanth, oh, Panchakari, have I mentioned that? Have I said that correctly? I hope I have. Let's just switch you uh, down there, guys, so you can see what's happening. Lovely jobly. Uh, oh, Robert Mungin. Uh, nice to catch us on his lunch break. Well done, Robert. Thank you. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, Art Krishna says fantastic. Hello, Art Krishna. Another new name. It's great to see you here. Okay. So what am I going to do now? Okay. As you can see, got some blank canvas going on here. Despite the fact I've got some really nice shapes appearing. I'm going to go back through it again, and I'm just going to try and go nice and gentle and kind of swoop through i want to bring some of these tones and chains together i hope that's looking all right on the cameras for you okay so back on the overhead shot now so i'm going to just gently go through this i'm creating lots of rivers and streams already which is really cool but obviously i do need to think quite carefully about how i'm going to distribute paint around so I'm going to start manoeuvring some of this around. Look, you can see how thick the volumes of paint are. We don't mess around, do we? We absolutely go for it. You know, when there's when there's painting to be done, you've got to get the paint on. So we try and go fairly liberally with everything. Okay. Let's introduce a little gold there. Let's kind of go backwards and forwards. And now I'm just debating in my head now if I need to change tools. So I think Although that's nice, I might actually do that. So let's rest the squeegee up for a moment. And time to get on the hands and knees, guys. Yep, it's bound to happen, wasn't it? Okay, remember we're just on the background here, but this is all about developing these beautiful swoops and shapes and cells. And which camera, dude? If you're all good and you're behaving yourself, I might even get the special source out. What am I talking about? Well, for those of you who've not seen the special source before, it's a combination of our favourite chemicals, which does the most amazing things to the paint. Always a favourite amongst our regular viewers. I think I'm fairly well placed to see. So I'm extremely tempted to actually go straight in with the special source actually on the background. It could be interesting. So let's see. Let's see. What do you all think? Guys, do you think I should go straight in with the special source and get get sort of busy with that? Let me know. Let me know in the comments what you think. So, Viviana, uh, AD says, is that near Reseda? <laughs> Van Nuys. Hope you know what that means. Okay, so... This is starting to build up really nicely now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring some of this nice gold towards the edges. And there's a very good reason for that, because of course I've planned everything out. And that's because of what we're going to do in the middle. So just when you think that this is going to be rich and velvety and textured and beautiful, and it's not done. Oh no, there is so much more to come. Okay, happy days. So we're going to scoot some of the silver around now. Look at these beautiful patterns I can just literally dig in. Oh, it's rich, it's thick. Oh, lovely. I love the consistency of this paint, especially some of these metallics. Beautiful. Okay, so we're just going to work ourselves around. You can see already that gold developing in the middle. What I might do is actually bring some more of that Queen's gold over to this end. Uh, was that the Rita, was it? Ah, so, yeah, Rita, thanks for your comment about uh, um, you should have got a squeegee on your floor and gone full Suarez on your, on your was it your kitchen floor, did you say? Porch, porch floor, yeah. Let's <laughs> Imagine your porch looking like this. 
Yeah, I like that when someone says I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go full Suarez on something. Yeah, that's what we want. Look, so we're getting in now. We're getting in with the textures. I'm going to show you some of this in a more close-up format, folks. So don't don't worry. You're not you're not going to miss a thing. This is all just setting up this beautiful base layer for what's about to happen. So let's get some some of this moving. Oh, amazing. So we've had some split opinions on the special source. Uh, I'm tempted to just use it simply because I think it would be very interesting to see what would happen. So from a curiosity point of view, just while I'm finishing this off, I think I'm very tempted. I think I might just have to break the tradition and, uh, and just go for it, you know? So hopefully you can see some, uh, some nice shots now. Ah, oh, so multi revelator. Hello. Yes, great question. Any tips about photographing art? Um, especially, you know, if you're getting reflections in it and everything. Well, yeah, you're right about taking it out on um on an overcast day. Here, actually, because we do tend to get quite a bit of sunlight uh, through uh, when it is very sunny. Actually, I can't take photos in the sunlight because exactly as you say. It's too bright and too reflective. So yeah, actually low light conditions uh, really is the best way to take, my well, found to take photos because then you can adjust uh, the shutter speed on your camera, uh, which of course will enable you then to control the amount of light that goes through the lens. So it really is the best way. Just, just, just got to play a waiting game really, haven't you? Uh, but great question. Thank you. Yeah, but I agree with you. Definitely overcast is, is the way to go forward. Uh, we don't light anything, by the way. Nothing's ever has any direct light on it because of the paints can be very reflective. So, yeah, good question. Right, I'm just going to pop some Queen's Gold at the end here. Uh, I think we're looking in pretty good shape. That's nice and interesting. Lots of textures developing there. And then I'm going to show you both uh, on Instagram and also on Rome Cam exactly what's going on because... Well, what I want to do is add some special sauce on and then show you the what's happening as it happens. Yeah, how about that? So I'm physically going to spray it and show you at the same time. <laughs> That's going to be insane. Right, so we'll get the, uh, the beautiful rich Queen's Gold in just on the side here. Maybe just get a few lines up there. It's already starting to develop into something gorgeous. Love that. Love it. It's just rich and just full of paint. I mean, oh, just love, love, love it. How can you not just love the material, you know? Right, okay. Slightly light just up here. So let me just run a little bit of... Uh, there you go. So we just used tool number two, which is our flat uh, grout spreader, which is beautiful. And now we've got ourselves a really, really extremely nice base coat and very happy with that let's change the gloves right funny fox says how about sauce on ha <laughs> i don't know i don't know i might have to give it a random kind of sort of uh towering over the surface and see where it goes um charles says ed you should wear knee cups like the Carpet installation people. I, I do have some, uh, actually, Charles. You know, I should, should put them on. Uh, Shelley Foliart. Hello, Shelley. Nice to see you here. It's beautiful and inspirational. I really have to start using my metallics more. You should, honestly. Uh, so, Natalie. I've already, yes, I have said hello to Debbie. Is this another Debbie? Debbie S. Hello, Debbie S. Thank you for joining us. Corner cam. Hello, Debbie S. Let's do that again. Woohoo! Thank you for being here. There you go, Natalie. Um... So, John Salmon just asked a brilliant question and uh, says, won't that paint wrinkle when it dries? Um, well, no, uh, it doesn't actually, John, because we've tinkered about with it over the years now to uh, give it uh, some pretty amazing qualities. Can we go to Rome Cam, please, buddy? Instagram, I'm going to come to you in just a second, but we're just going to give you a look on Rome Cam so you can see some of these textures and colours developing. Let's go down a bit further. Great, um, great comment uh thank you john i'll just i'll come back to your question in a moment this carl zeiss lens which is on the sony camera you're looking at now uh, will show you just how rich and deep and full of uh, of color these 
these paints really are. Now I haven't done anything in terms of special sauce yet, so we're going to give that a go in just a minute. I just want to show you in its raw state just how incredible these are. Look at that with all its selling and we haven't even done anything yet. Back over to how luminous this Queen's Gold is. Isn't that just extraordinary? It must be absolutely shining like a diamond there. <gasps> Yeah, just, just four basic colours. That's it. But we've got all these rich... We've gone from autumn through to Fort Knox and Gold Bullion. Oh, look at look at this. Look at my fingers, even. I look like King Midas. <laughs> right, let's just... We're going to drop... Um, we're going to drop that down there so you can still see what's going on. Instagram, I promised you that we'd have a little look. So we're going to do the same again, folks. Let me give it a little look. Uh, DJ Kekri and Tanya and Jane and Chaos Paintings and Spellman and Carla. Anki Bot says just do it. Eddie M and Richard. Do you use acrylic paints? Srikanth. No, no, I don't ever use those. Don't like them. Don't like them at all. Uh, oh, and Rochelle says greetings from Holland. Yes, good evening. <laughs> right, okay. So, Instagram. Sorry, I just sort my tripod out. Let's just do the same again. Now, we're gearing up for special sauce, everybody, so don't go away. Let's just give you a look at what's going on. Now, you can see the impact of the LED lights above, but hopefully, let's go around here. You'll start to see just how luminous some of these gold are. There we go. Look, look at that in the light. Isn't that incredible? Hello, DJ Kekri. Hello. Oh, and the phone's doing weird things. Sorry about that. I'll reset it in a second. Just wanted to give you a little look at what's going on here. Thank, thank you, uh, Srika. That's very kind. There we go. Look at that. The way that gold is just catching the light. Extraordinary. So now we're going to put special sauce on a mix of four of our favourite chemicals. Bear with me, Instagram, because I have to... You're suddenly now pointing at the ceiling for a bizarre reason. So I'm just going to reset the gimbal. And let's do that again. So we get you actually where you should be. And there we go. Right back in the room. <laughs> right. Let's just get you. Oh, there we go. So you can see everything going on. Right. OK, fantastic. So let's get the special sauce where is it where has it gone it's on here somewhere there we go so buddy my question to you is shall we do it oh i've got to say just before we do that if my mum's watching hello mum i hope you are i hope you managed to tune in my mum might be watching i hope she's gonna be watching next week when we're doing the hundredth but anyways everybody you know say hello to my mum but i hope she's watching so hello <laughs> Right, uh, okay, what are, so I've caught up with everything. Thank you, Carl. Likes the gloves colour from the Rita. Right, okay, special sauce. Here we go then, folks. Shall we do it, mate? Let's do it. Do it! Just do it! Yesterday, you said tomorrow. So just do it! Make your dreams come true! Nothing is impossible! No, what are you waiting for? Do it! Just do it! Yes, you can! Right, so, uh, Aegis just come up with a wicked idea. This is to try and give you the best possible look at this. We're going to do something we've never done before. Uh, he's going to pop in and he's going to hold one of the cameras and I'm going to hold one of the, one of the others. Um, and we're going to spray this so you can both see it working at the same time. How does that sound? Should we, should we have a go with that? Instagram, I'm going to move you up here. And then Aegis is going to go to remote cam. Let, let's have a go, see if we can actually do this, guys, all right? <laughs> Uh, Jasmine's Gerald Crit. Hello, Gerald. Hello. A very good friend of mine. Uh, DJ Kekri looks even better live. Thank you very much. Uh, Jasmine's, did I say hello? Jasmine's, yes, I did. Right. So, Aidy's going to take control of Instagram. I'm, hello, I'm going to take control of Rome Cam. And we're going to be using this, which is called Special Source. And we're going to see if we can give you both uh, a look at what happens when this goes on. All right. We've not really done this before, completely unplanned. I now can't hear AD and he can't hear me because the extractor over in the corner is pumping out at 90 decibels. Right, do you want to take Insta? 
and then I'll take this and the Roan cam, yeah? And we'll start here and sort of work our way down, all right? Right, should we have a go then? Three, two, one, go. Right, here we go. I'm spraying it, I'm spraying it. There's all kinds of things about to happen. There we go, going on. Oh, there it goes, look. It's starting to sell. That's all we need. We don't need any more than that. Right, let's get you down here. Look, there it goes. Look, it's already starting. Already starting. Here it is. It's starting to bloom like some undersea magical kingdom of gold and silver and copper. Yes. Oh, that's going to look amazing. Look, <laughs> this is, of course, going to keep developing as well. Uh, bear in mind also, folks, that whatever I put over the top is going to develop with it. So I think we're going to have a very, very interesting series of effects by the time we finish this. And there is the man, look. There he is, wrecking the place. <laughs> there he is, giving Instagram a look around as we go and have a look for ourselves. So the legend is real. He does exist. There we go, look. These are the cells being created right in front of your eyes. I kid you not. This is exactly what I do on a daily basis. Oh, yes, look at that. And of course, they keep on developing and developing. Some paints react in different ways. So you get all these amazing effects. I absolutely love it. How about that? Oh, I think we'll give him a big round of applause when he's done. <laughs> Right, brilliant stuff. Thank you, buddy. I know he can't hear me at the moment. Ah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Thank you. Awesome job. Well, fantastic. Well done, mate. Well done, indeed. Right, what did we think of that? <laughs> so, did we get some love for Aid? Yes, we did. Denise says, yeah, Aid is in the building. Spray in the middle, says Robert. Oh, you, you can't. You can't just spray in the middle. Surely can you, Robert? Um... Oh, that's nice. Everyone talking on about my mum as well. Why? Right. Okay. That worked pretty well, don't you think? What do you reckon? Th buddy, you're back on now, aren't you? He's back on. Well, give yourself a round of applause there, mate. Fantastic job. Yeah. Fantastic. Well done. Well, that's the cells being born and still it's developing in some amazing ways. We're about to get going with the top, everybody, so don't move anywhere. We've got lots of questions coming in. Um, and uh, Annette likes that. Nancy Stone, Undersea Kingdom. Very nice. Uh, Joseph Span, how nice to see you here. Uh, Shelley, I seem to remember you using a paint once that wasn't toxic and you didn't need a mask. Whatever happened to that? What a very good question, Shelley. Um, well, yeah, actually, uh, we've used it once or twice. The remainder of that paint, Shelley, is up on the top shelf. I'm not really a fan of it, so you can't do this kind of thing with it. So we've kind of resigned it to the to the top shelf where we don't have to worry about it. <laughs> okay. AD behind the camera needs to be a new photo for the website. Perhaps we'll do that. Yes, absolutely. Great stuff. Instagram, what do you think to that? Because we're just about to get going on the top um dj kekri has got a surprised face excellent simon van mons and beth has also joined us as well as marco thank you very much everybody right so john martinez has also uh, just arrived from new york hello fantastic albert saying orange no orange on tonight albert unfortunately but the next color we're going to go with oh now we're going to get controversial for the second part of this Oh, I think we're going to have to go with some black, folks. The black's got to go on. Before we lighten it all up, the black's going to go on. Or do I go white? Oh, no, this is an interesting one, isn't it? Do I go white over the top and then the black? Yes. I think I'm going to go white. Thank you. I've just talked myself out of it. Right. We're going to go in with the white. So I'm going to get some. Don't worry, Instagram, I'm coming back onto the canvas in just a second. Let me just grab some white paint. Ooh, thick and creamy. We'll leave that conversation there. Right, uh, what do we reckon? Christine Sanders. Hello, Christine. I've been watching a past live stream for half an hour. I'm such a technophobe. Debbie S on my mum's phone, sorry. <laughs> 
Brilliant. Thank you, Debbie S. Well, we managed. Natalie got you the shout out, and now we've heard from you on your mum's phone. Awesome. What a combination. Thank you for joining us. Um, okay. Uh, remind Zane of you of the of the uh, desert he used to live in. Fantastic. So black cream and black. Yeah. No, actually, I'm going to start with white. You're right, the Rita. I am going to go for some cream, but I'm going to, I want an underpinning of white because actually I don't want to darken this too much. So. Hmm, sorry, I'm standing in front of the car. I do apologise, mate. Sorry. <laughs> right, okay, so we're on overhead. Let's get some paint on, folks. Here we go. Here we go. Are we ready? Uh, three, two, one. Hmm, nice. Yes, lots of it. Oh, yeah, there we go. Superb. That's what we want. And then slightly finer lines this way. Oh, nice. Now, a lot of this is going to get covered up. And we'll probably attack it with some wooden spoons very shortly. Lovely. We'll let that sort itself out just for a moment. I'm going to get the cream. So, the Rita, that was very well thought out. Let's get the cream. And so, I just want to add a little warmth to that. Now, that's the all-camera shot if you're watching on YouTube. And if you're watching on Instagram, don't forget, folks, if you want the full four-camera high definition experience you can head over to the link in my bio and we'll just go into youtube and look for suarez art fantastic right we're just going to give the white a few moments just to sort itself out because this is i want all this to go through the center so we're just going to let that sort of pan itself out for a little while so we're just going to keep it there okay right so uh i think we should go with the olympic theme <laughs> yes very good Awesome cells and Joseph. Excellent. Right, so guys, lots of new faces here tonight. That's absolutely fantastic. Thank you ever so much for joining us and for tuning in. Remember, if you're new here, please do consider giving us a subscribe. It's the only way that you will never miss anything, especially as we're now starting to do pop-up live streams, because if we're going into 100 next week, it isn't going to be long until we're at 200. Okay, so you can only imagine what that's going to be like. But Click on the bell icon if you do subscribe, because at least that way you'll always get notified when we're doing brand new things. And of course, we've got the vlog every week, which is all the behind the scenes things that go on here. Uh, that's us out with clients. It's us pushing back boundaries. It's all the highs and the lows of being working artists here at Suarez HQ. You don't want to miss that. One every week, pretty much. And it's amazing. So... Unless you want to miss out on amazing live streams and the behind the scenes. Oh, and a wealth of educational things. And if you're an artist or an aspiring creative, there's lots of self-help videos out on the channel. What other reasons could you want to subscribe? So make sure you hit that button, guys. Thank you very much. You might also like to know, before I lose you for a second, that we've got a Patreon uh, page as well, where you can get exclusive access to all the new and exciting things before anybody else gets it. And let me tell you, between us, we've got something very, very exciting and incredibly exclusive coming up for all our patrons. We'll give you more details of that, hopefully in a few weeks' time. So that's one you definitely don't want to miss. Get on board now, guys. Go check it out. There's a link down in the description. Perfect. Right, let's change some gloves while I answer some questions. So Robert's asking the size of the canvas. Well, because you weren't here at the start, Robert, obviously. <laughs> it's 270 centimetres by 150. And that's going to give us a finished painting size of 250 by 130. I hope that answers that one. Uh, the metallics are having a bubbly reaction, says Callie. Yes, they are indeed. Uh, what was the other questions, buddy? Ah, uh, yes, black, Nelson. Yes, well, folks, you might want to learn that black is about to go on next. I'm going straight from the can and I'm going to go in with, oh, controversial, it's spatula time. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> so, uh, Marco's given us uh, some clap emojis and Suzanne has also joined us as well. Hello. Yes, folks, it's time for the spatula. We're going full Pollock. Let's see if I don't spill this everywhere. I need the can, but unfortunately it's quite big and very heavy, so this should be good for a laugh. Right. Okay. This time I won't walk in front of the camera. Are we ready? Are we, are we going full Pollock, are we? Here we go then. Right. Right. Let's do this. 
let's get the black on okay this is lovely we're going to walk around we're going to get some nice we're going to gentle kind of circles here i want to kind of build this up really nicely oh nice yeah i had to come in front of the camera mate sorry uh yeah okay this is good so we're using different flicks and turning the direction of the spatula as i move this is really nice it allows me just to get some nice defined lines you see where the white's going already look white's off it off on its holidays it's it's like doing its own thing all right so this is lovely beautiful and then we'll just shake off the exit and get all these beautiful little striations going on i'll give it a little flick let's give that a flick shall we yeah come on let's flick that that bad boy yeah let's do one across here because i'm feeling it Ooh, nice now you see the black's being eaten up already because of the volume of paint that's literally just sucking it into the canvas let's have another one of those here uh let's go that way yes nice okay got ourselves a painting now let's go one that way oh look at that and let's go one that way beautiful and let's go one that way <laughs> oh yes wow one over there yeah, let's go for some little squiggles just one approaching there uh remote cam let's come right up to remote cam that's the shot there he is yes nice uh let's do a drop there look tons of black on but it's already being eaten alive and that's fine that's a third of a no a quarter of a can gone can you believe that oh man love this i love this now before i put any more paint on everybody i want you to introduce you to my friends over here my friends over here are sparkly pigmenty bangly really nice things i'll come up and show you in just a second and mm, we've got some nice chrome paint here i think i might start with that what do you think insta should we start with some chrome paint let's say what? let's move you guys over here okay let's give you a shot down there uh kaleido scholar hello thank you for joining us we're going to go with some i think we'll get the spray can out it's another type of paint we're going to put on here um let's uh squirt it into the lid and then we're going to drip it on all right here we go here we go oh look at that crazy oh look at all the fumes this is a good job i'm wearing a mask isn't it <laughs> with a mask cover on it as well if that's just covered the mask up in paint right so let's have a look at this right let's go oh nice yes yes look at that can you see it it's like having a mirror little pockets of mirrors oh that is incredible we're going to have to do that again now i'm going to do the same with the copper and see what happens oh and then we're going to get in with some cream look at those cells developing wowzers you want abstract i'm giving you abstract right here we go here we go with the next one this is going to be the the beautiful copper oh it's already on there wow the fingers have gone it's cold here we go oh look at that splash splash down oh that is absolutely gorgeous <gasps> i hope ad can get those I'm really hoping you get those. That's fantastic. Now then, we'll use the Rome cam for that, don't we? What happens? What happens if I if I do this in the air? Does anything change? We're just literally randomly squirting paint into the air now to see what happens. <laughs> okay, that could be interesting. We'll let that settle down. Cream will go on very shortly, folks next i want to try Ooh. oh look at this right pick me a camera out matey look can you see that can you see that should we get some air on folks yeah that is just gorgeous 
It's a 400 micron powder. Let's give that a little sprinkle. Let's just get that into the air and see where it goes. Here we are. Here we are. Look. Oh, nice. That's just. Oh, yes. Oh, oh is, it, is it Christmas already? Did someone say it was Christmas? Oh, look at that. All over. Yeah, come on. Let's have it. Oh, that is sensational. <gasps> oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. There's a mountain over on this side. That looks incredible. Let's get a slightly smaller version of it on. It's uh, 200 micron. So it's a smaller powder. Let's get some towards the edges where we can see it. Oh, it's just randomly beautifully floating through the air and it's starting to really sparkle. Wow. I'm going to show you that. Stay where you are, folks. I'm going to show you that shortly. That is nothing short of spectacular, I promise you. Now, let's go fairly, fairly light on the silver. I'm going to come down a little bit, okay, because I just want to add just a few flakes, just, you know, a little bit of a little bit of a shimmy here and there. Nothing, nothing too major. Let's brighten up just one or two of these areas. Beautiful, beautiful, sensational, that. Nice. Didn't think we'd get around to using the powders, everybody, but actually we have, haven't we? So just before we launch into my favourite, which is this white sort of uh, unicorn thing, the reader's asking, have I used the powders before? Yes, I have. Now, great question. Thank you for answering. Ah, uh, answering it. For asking it, even. Uh, yeah. Oh, Robert's had to go. Time to go off your lunch. Thank you, Robert. See you next time, I hope. It's great, isn't it? Pe 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 people coming in from their lunch or spending their lunch watching watching us. I think it's amazing. Right, okay. So I want to add some kind of nice loops and swoops just to try and uh, release some of the um, some of the shapes in here. So let's see how we get on. So we're going to go in now from the tin. And we're just going to go in with our spoon. And let's just see how, uh, how we can... Uh, apply this and see if we can get some i'm going down a bit further now look i want to be fairly accurate on where this goes let's get some uh let's get some light let's get some cream going on it's a wonderful bridging color is this cream you know it's just got enough warmth to it without it being um too cold sorry too warm and enough <laughs> enough of that lightness of the white in it so that you can you can see what's going on it's Beautiful, that. Nice. Beautiful. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Let's get around that bit. One through there, I think. Uh, let's just tidy that end up. Really delicate. We can get some delicate sort of loops out here. It's nice. Let's build a little bit of that up in the centre. Nice. So just cover a few of these areas up. Nothing too substantial. Nice. Okay. Right. So, we have we used... I'm going to ask myself a question now. Have we used most of the materials? I think possibly we have. So, let me take a step back for a moment. And assess what we need and where I need it. So, Age is just going to use this opportunity to pull the microphone so i'll be back with you in about eight seconds and now uh so geraldine m hello geraldine m uh thank you for saying that's cool uh wow we close-ups are amazing says uh debbie s thank you we're going to give you some proper close-ups in a minute now the sparkles are on yes jackie uh oh diana carter's just joined us as well hello diana thank you for stopping by today so i'm going to do a remote cam look in just a second i want to do a couple of things though right, so i just want to stick a little bit of this pigment on okay not a lot just a little soup song if you're going to catch this in the light Okay, just a little bit on there. And that's great. We're going to give you a remote cam look in just a moment or two. There are a couple of things I just want to take care of. I want to get some more chrome on. And there's just a few little drops of the copper 
which I want to feature one there over the cream. And then there's just a couple. Yeah, let's just get that through the center. Just feel it needs something just there. Okay, lovely. Right, so let's YouTube, let's go for Rome Cam and let's show you what some of this some of this powder looks like, shall we? Okay, let's get you set up. Let's see what we see what I can show. Actually, no, I'm gonna start around this side. Let's see if we can get the light shining on that. Right, are you picking that up now? Can you see the rusty ready copper? Oh, there we go, look. That's it. Look at that. Look, and that's that's the copper in the centre that came out liquid from the top of the can. And then can you just see these blobs? They're almost like mirror, little tiny blobs of little mirrors. They look amazing. I know it's quite difficult, so might not come out too well on the camera, but we're trying. So this is really, really developing so, so nicely now. It's fantastic. There we go. You can see as you move around, you get these wisps and hints of the other kinds of colours and they just peep out when just when light starts to change there we go look just in the centre there hopefully just see that copper starting to come out little flashes just here and there yeah there that's it look yeah so that corner is a real a real superstar almost looks bright orange yes there there do you see that <laughs> That's, that's pretty crazy. Wow. Yeah, this, is, this is starting to look really cool now. There's a couple of things I still want to do to it. Okay, so we're just going to pop me down there. And do the same Instagram. Thank you for being patient. Let's give you guys a little look around. Oh, Yoli, New Day, uh, and Tommy has also joined. This is great. Lots of you coming on board tonight. Let's see if I can try and give you a little bit of a look. Uh, as to what's going on. Let me come back around here. Now I'm trying to look to see if you can see some of the there up in the top right. You see some, hopefully, some of those copper highlights. Just there, look, in the top of the screen. Just starting to come out. Can you see that where the light hits it? Yeah. That's, that's, pretty, that's pretty amazing. Let's bring you back down here, look. You can see the same kind of copper highlight going on down in the corner. Uh, Eye Black Ink is also joined. Thank you very much. Yeah, so really starting to see some incredible details coming out now. You can see the selling going on there, starting to really sort of punctuate through all the colours. And then we've got all this incredible, intense craziness going on in the centre. Just incredible. So let's pull you guys back here, give you, change your perspective a little bit. Because there's a couple of things I want to do before we uh, before we finish off. Thank you, Ankybot. That's very kind. Right, there, there, that on Instagram. Now you can see it all starting to sort of take shape. Now, I want to test something because we've got the majority of materials on. There's a couple of things I want to do. And I'm going to reach for... It's not so, whoa, I'm stuck to a paint pot. It's not the best, is it? Let's get those in there. Blooming Marvellous. Thank you very much. And Diana says, oh my, OMG, that's breathtaking. Thank you. Um, very nice, very nice. Right, okay, so... Uh, where is my tool? There it is. Okay, right. I just want to test something out. You've seen these broadcasts before. You'll know I'm very much a big fan of these. But I want to see what's going on. If I, if I disturb the middle, I want to see how much paint I've got. I've got a lot of paint in the centre. So, let me ask you a question. Do I leave and preserve the way it is? Which is quite the most... I mean, here it just looks sensational. Or... And I'll just put this out. Do I start and wave through and create some upright shapes? Some more definition in it. No more pain, but I'm always going to carve shapes and loop them in and out. So I'm very tempted to do that. Just to kind of mix the paint up a little bit. So what, what do we all think? I'm going to ask my eyes in the sky, which is Adrian. Not my onions in the sky, mate. <laughs> Private joke. Um, it's a great question, the reason. Yes, the special source will still react with anything that goes on top of it. It will have less of a reaction. Um, it, it, it essentially reacts with what goes underneath as it falls onto the surface. But if anything does go on top of it, yes, you're absolutely right. There will be a chemical reaction, but it won't be as um, intense as when it hits when it's going on to, if that makes any sense. 
Yeah, so let me give you an idea what I'm talking about. If I can get down on a knee here. I'm talking about maybe just digging in and, and kind of doing this, you know? What do we think? Right, I think we're getting an opinion here, aren't we, buddy? You're not to touch it. Okay. Okay, well, it certainly is uh, quite something, quite, quite spectacular. Okay, so if I was to leave that, so my last question to everybody who's watching is, do I give it a little spray of thinners just down the centre? All right, just to encourage a little bit of paint movement, just in a small one sort of 12 inch wide band across the centre. Okay, what do we think of that? So I'll preserve all the edges, but it will allow me then to let some paint flow and move a little bit more down that centre line. What do we think to that? So you, you, you tell me, guys. You've been watching this as well with me. And while you have a think about that, I'm going to put a drop more of this lovely copper on because it's just too gorgeous not to. <laughs> there, it does look absolutely mind-blowing. But I'm, I'm tempted. I am incredibly tempted to... Um, I'm over in the corner. I'm just spraying some paint because I need to get rid of the spray. Right, there we go. Sorry, I had to go into the corner then. Right, let's flick some of these things out into the... Uh, out, out here a little bit. Yeah, so what do, we, what do we think, folks? What do we think? Should I, should I let the sensor sort of just develop as it is? What do we think? I, I'm kind of in two minds, but I have to ask myself the question. Or do I give it a spray and let it meander and move a little bit? Let me know what you think. So we're just dropping some of the aerosol dots in here with the aid of a tongue depressor. Great way of getting small, accurate little dots here and there. So we're just popping these like stars in the sky. I love these. There we go. Surprising how much this came out of the can, actually. Quite a bit in here. This is nice. Oh, get some in there. Definitely get some in there. Look at that. Happy days. So, buddy, any feedback on the centre? I'll read it. I'll come and read it. I'll come and read it. <laughs> oh, it looks like it, all the debate's heating up now. We're kind of all split, really, down the middle, aren't we? About whether I should attack the centre or not. Um, I love it like it is, but I'm curious about what happens. It's over on Instagram from DJ Kekri. Are you listening to this background music or is it entertainment for the audience? I can't hear what's going on on the feed, um, but we always put a little bit of, of background music in, um, just for the points at which when I'm not speaking. Mm. I, I, I can't hear anything. The only voice I can hear, the only input I have... Uh, is AD in my ears, so I hope that does does make sense. Okay, well, I'm really on the fence with this now. I've got to make the decision, haven't I, as to what I do with the centre. There, There is a small compromise here, and that's I give it a very, very light, very light spray, because actually one thing is going to happen really quite interesting, and that's going to... Uh, this is going back to what the Rita said about the special source and will it continue to do its reacting. If I then spray thinners over the top, it will kind of accelerate the reaction in the special source. Oh, it's such a tricky one to play, this is. So Aid is going to come on for a second. Hi guys, as you can see, there is a huge, and I mean a massive difference between the Sony camera, the Rome cam, and the three other cameras. And the three other cameras are just basically conference cams, and they look washed out. When you start to see the vibrance and the colour of the coppers, the golds and everything else that you're seeing now on the camera, that is more true to the colours. So there is a very distinct definition between the blacks, the golds, the silvers and everything else like that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go back to overhead 
and it kind of looks washed out there but unfortunately there's nothing i can do about it i've got the color saturation way way up if it goes anymore ed's cheeks are going to just be glowing bright red so i have to basically show you a flat color with three and then the strong color comes with the remote cam that is a truer definition of what the color will actually eventually look like so if that sways you let me know yeah very 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 good points there um it is difficult for you to decide of course it is oh right so uh ah sorry sorry about that instagram my phone my phone went into low uh uh low power mode uh okay so oh we just had 23 people join on instagram awesome let's just drop you guys right down there okay fantastic so there we are at the moment well I'll be honest with you, everybody, from where we stand right now, I don't think I want to touch it. And I'm going to give you a very, very good reason why. And it's over here because already I'm starting to see some kind of movement this way. Now, you may remember we do have some lean in the building. Everything leans this way a couple of degrees. And we're starting to see that now in the direction that some of the paint is traveling. So actually and out on the outside as well we're almost getting these sort of caramelly kind of flows so instead of doing that down the center this is the bit you don't want to miss you're going to watch me turn this round now and put it the other way yes i know <sighs> I'll, I'll i'm gonna to have to turn it right okay this is it what <laughs> Right, okay, let's see if I can turn I don't know if I can turn this round, but I'm gonna give I'm gonna give it my best shot anyway. Instagram, let's move you guys over here. Uh right, so I've got to try and turn that round. This should be good for a laugh. Oh, Katie! Katie Herring! Hello, Katie Herring, and you've just donated 20 bucks. Oh, Katie, thank you very much. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you very much, Katie. That's very kind of you, and we really appreciate it. That's our cappuccinos on the way home. Thank you so much for that. I'm much appreciated. <laughs> and I think we definitely need them tonight. Right. Am I... Okay, I've got to turn. I've got to turn. Let's go. Okay. Right, let's see if I can get this round. Yeah, no, I'm all right, mate. Yeah. I'll let you know. <laughs> AJ just asking me if I need a hand. Yeah, so what's that, that's what swayed it for me, actually, everybody, is the fact that I can see which way the paint's starting to flow. It's just starting to form some directional movement. And I think if I add thinners to that, it's just going to go haywire. So, yeah, definitely the right decision to leave it. Right, OK, here we go. There is a lot of paint on here. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. How much paint's on here? I thought uh, when we did the painting by numbers week, there was a large volume of paint on it. But this... <laughs> crazy okay we're doing good so far oh, we're doing good this, uh, okay you just hear a lot of huffing and panting now because i'm extremely unfit i'm sorry about that <laughs> ah! <laughs> I I, um, I need a bigger studio. We've got 6,000 square feet here, which is, you know, most artists absolutely like, what? Is, that's like the dream to have a space that big. We haven't got any room. We haven't got any room. Literally got no room left. Well, now, now we get into the fun bit. <sighs> I'm wrinkled. Yeah, I've got the wrinkle, mate. I've got the wrinkle. <sighs> Okay, well, at least I've got it halfway. <laughs> now then. Let's see. Let's see if we can do this now. <clears throat> okay, so far so good. If you watch this on the replay, you, you can speed this bit up. It might look quite entertaining, won't it? Ooh. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one that's done it. Right, now then. That's good. Just give me a second. 
yeah because what this will do now this will kind of send some of the paint back this way so if i've got that on a corner almost have got some angles to it i'm going to get now some angles going this way so it should kind of even it out i can't have it unbalanced it, it, it'll affect my chi kind of that i say unbalanced i mean it's 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 quite random anyway but you know what you know what i mean don't you have one bit that takes your eye off the other bit and so on and so forth right that's better so now you're going to see it from a different perspective the other way up right Right, that was my line there, wasn't it? Oh, I can see the line, mate. I can see the line. Let me take it to the line. There we go. Okay. Oh. Right. There you go. Now you can see it the other way. Woo! Right, so uh, what was that? The Rita said, careful, it looks heavy, I know. <laughs> It's, um, it, yeah, there's a lot of paint on there. I reckon there's probably, probably five or six litres, maybe, on there. You go and weigh that on some scales. That's heavy. That is heavy. Woof, right. Last set of gloves, I think. Uh, 42 people watching now. Remember, guys, if you're enjoying this, please do give us a thumbs up. Let the Google machine know that you're enjoying this. We'd love to get your uh, thumbs up. You can do it easily on a mobile device. Just scroll under the screen. Hit the thumbs up button for us. That'd be awesome. If you're watching on a widescreen TV, lucky you. Um, then if you hit one of the navigation buttons, it will pull the red bar up and you'll see the thumbs up icon. That would be amazing. Thank you so much, everybody. Right. Okay. So, uh, multi-revelator. Mm, first place. Thank you. That's very nice. With its own language. Nice. Um, Diana says, few. Got to go, guys. Busy Thursday. Stunning painting. Uh, fingers crossed from Zane. Thank you very much. That's very nice, Zane. Well, 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 well. Instagram, what do we reckon? We've successfully turned it. Uh, Sally Banks and uh, Alan Art Gallery also joined. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Let's just pop you there for a second. Now, we're going to give you, everybody, probably one last, last round so you can have a look. Instagram, stay where you are because I am definitely going to give you a quick look at that. So, if we go, we're on Rome Cam, aren't we, mate? Right, and there's my, there's my desk of all the sparkles, and the, we didn't use all of the pigments, but I think you'll agree, wow, we didn't need to, because look at that. Broadcast 99, we've almost hit the 100, folks, and look at it. We broke out the gold, we've used it, we don't care tonight, we're just going for it. Now we're starting to get all these incredible textures coming out, we've got rivers and valleys forming, this is what the special source does. It gives us our peaks and troughs. It separates the paint. It moves it. It does incredible things. It adds texture. It splits paint and it brings it together. And we get these unbelievable effects. We get everything undulating and moving and forming and con congealing and then expanding. And it really is all of these extremes in one canvas. I absolutely love it. And I hope you're enjoying all the all the light and dark and all the other things that we're doing and the special effects tonight but this is absolutely superb thank you katie for saying it's one of your favorites i think this is going to dry absolutely superb it is some gorgeous autumn colors buddy you're absolutely right what a great time of the year to be doing this instagram let's give you a quick look cool. i'm coming back i'm coming back give all our let's give all our patient friends a, a chance to see it which also includes shirley and is Ratalal, I hope I pronounced that right. There we go. Now you can see what I mean about it being very autumnal. As the light catches these incredible, very tiny flakes that I put on. It's in this corner. Look how the light hits it from overhead. Then we've got all the beauty of the gold and everything you've just heard me saying. You know, it's just utterly fantastic. Engaging, intoxicating. Oh, and there's Instagram now. We're pointing towards the ceiling again. I'm so sorry about that, my... Three axis gimbal. Oh, there, there, there's me, look. Yeah, obviously doesn't like me today, does it? Feels like you're watching a 1960s episode of Batman, doesn't it? Okay, right. When you're in the baddies cave at a 45 degree angle. Right, that's better. There we go. Hampstead School of Art has also joined us. Brilliant. Well, well, everybody, I think I'm going to leave the painting there. That's been quite the uh, journey, hasn't it? I hope you've enjoyed part two of Gold and Silver Week. 
I think you'll agree we pretty much went for it tonight with, with no boundaries and no barriers. That's pretty awesome. That, folks, is Broadcast 99. Next week, we've got Broadcast 100. I really hope you're going to join us for that one because it's going to be sensational. You feel free to drop us a line in the week, info at suarez.co.uk. We're here all the time. We might be doing an impromptu live stream in between. Who knows? But we are going to be here next Wednesday, 7.30 p.m., same time, for a number 100 live stream. And we really hope you can join us. Thank you so much for watching. We really hope you've enjoyed what I've created this evening. I think it's epic, and I can't wait to show you what it looks like when it's dry. So at some point, that's what we're going to do. But for now, folks, I think that's it. Uh, AD and myself are going to take a well-earned rest when we've cleared this up for the next hour or so. But can we just say thank you so much for watching. We really hope you've enjoyed it. And we look forward to seeing you next time. So on behalf of us both, thank you. Uh, whatever you're doing and whoever you're with and wherever you're going to go, please stay safe and make sure you're back here in seven days' time. That's it from us, folks. We'll do one quick last check of everything. Oh, Katie Herring, 100%. Fabulous, says Albert. Uh, incredibly dynamic, loving the effects. Uh, Diana saying magnificent, ethereal, uh, sensational. Uh, Nancy hopes she's off next week. <laughs> so do I. Uh, that's brilliant. I'm so grateful. Thank you, folks. It really does mean the world to us. But for now, we're off. We'll let you go. And we'll see you next time from Suarez HQ. We're officially out of here. And a very good evening to you all.